Welcome to Motoring Monday for November 3rd, 2014. I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. This week our boots are on the ground here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the SEMA show where we're bringing you wall-to-wall -wall coverage all week long. Now this show, the Specialty Equipment Manufacturers Association, is where the OEMs show off their newest concept cars that some actually make it to production. Also, the Go Fast parts makers and accessory makers show off their newest stuff for these cars. And best yet, the tuners have some great new creations to show us as well. So let's get started. Well, the Scion brand seems to be shrinking in the marketplace. It's always a very big deal here at SEMA, and this year is no different. They have a cavalcade of hot show cars and concepts. The Scion FRS T1, built by Jeremy Lakuski of Cartel Customs, is the closest thing to a vehicle that could be built for production we've seen yet. The Targa roofed FRS opens up the possibilities for a removable roof, something the car could really use. In a two-tone paint scheme with black and Azuro California blue, the FRS T1 gets custom fabricated steel wide body and integrated rear spoiler treatments. The look actually leans into the 1970s just a bit with its presentation. It's lowered, of course, with a coilover suspension and 19-inch wheels all around, showing off a nice set of nickel-plated Willwood brakes. A high-mounted custom center exhaust exits the rear fascia. That's because under the hood, the FRS T1 engine's been massaged with a slick, gritty street turbo kit, something all FRSs should come with. A custom leather interior really richens the cabin experience with hides wrapping the seats, dash, door panels, and trunk. The removable top stows neatly in the rear compartment where the rear seat once resided. Three of the FRSs will be the subject of the Scion Tuner Challenge this week, and we'll be bringing you a special report on that a little later this week. The Scion XB is the subject of yet another experiment, and this one goes into the 1970s known as the Riley Hawk Scion XB. The custom build by Scott Kanamura of KMA Productions is a hearty backslap of 1970s mock and style, right down to the rich, thick shag carpeting on the floor. Themed by visions of professional skateboarder Riley Hawk, the interior and exterior is oozing with 1970s excess from the paintwork to its porthole windows at the rear. Non-functional side pipes add a sense of flair along with chrome Krager style wheels and white letter tires. Functional is a hidden cargo area created with an inno rack system. Skateboards can be stored inside or hung on the tailgate while at the park. Inside you'll find acres of tasteless wood grain, tufted tuck and roll seat upholstery and even an 8-track player and storage console for tapes. A built-in CB radio is there to keep on top of your good buddies as well. But don't think the future and present's been left behind. The cabin blends in modernism with a Pioneer sound system and the ability to play a guitar through the audio system using an iPad Mini as a mixer. There's also a rear-facing flat-screen monitor and a rear seat table for laptop computers. Kind of reminds me of those Pinto wagons from the 1970s with the stripes very similar and the portholes. Kind of dates me, doesn't it? Ford's into vans at SEMA this year with their all-new full-size Transit, rolling out a collection of concept builds called Vandemonium. They start with the Vegas Off-Road Experience Transit, which plays to the tourist crowd to be used for guest transportation at events. The Transit is upfitted with fender flares, off-road tires and wheels, and LED lighting all around. Taking on a van conversion theme is a design travel transit. Wall dot crafts and 3D carbon work together to create a tasteful road trip van with a rich interior lined with hickory wood floors and leather. A formula drift transit will actually serve duty as a track safety and support vehicle. Equipped with fire and safety equipment for first responders, it'll be the first on the scene when needed. Getting it there quick is a cold air intake, high performance exhaust and suspension. The collection of vans wouldn't be complete without a limo coach. The business class Transit is all black inside and out, built by Detroit Custom Coach. Extra large, this VIP Transit can seat up to eight in first class style. Last but not least, it wouldn't be SEMA without something from Galpin Autosports. Their Transit Skyliner features custom designed throne seats, a 52 inch TV, and yes, there's a cocktail bar and matching luggage. Vans are actually making a bit of a comeback in popularity in the last couple years at SEMA and we'll be bringing you a few more this week. Off-road vehicles are huge at SEMA and this year Toyota has a floor full of exciting builds surrounding their participation in the Baja 1000. One of the three chase vehicles that will actually serve duty in the upcoming Baja 1000 is a 2015 Toyota 4Runner TRD Custom built by well-known off-road skunk works, NFAB. 
The first thing you'll notice is its racing livery in red, black, and white. For seeing at night out in the desert, it's outfitted with a full gambit of rigid E-Series light bars. Smittybilt provides their Beaver Step, Gen 2 inch, and Defender rack. A few custom touches on the Toyota 4Runner include an NFAB rock rail with detachable FJ step and custom rear tailgate set with plenty of powder coating to go around. Keeping it from getting lost in the desert day and night is a Lawrence 5 inch GPS system. Other interior fitments include a carbon fiber dash kit from Superior and a bank of accessory switches. You might notice that suspension is TRD straight from the Toyota parts bin, not some fully decked aftermarket system like many. Toyota also has a number of exciting show trucks and race trucks we're going to show you, so stay tuned. While our boots are on the ground here at SEMA this week, we didn't forget to do some test drives. We enjoyed the high fuel economy of the 2014 Ford Fusion Energy Plug-In Hybrid. The car has few competitors offering the ability to be plugged in at night for about 20 miles of electric only driving. With the Fusion Energy, we were able to achieve 62 miles per gallon on a tank of gas starting each day with a full charge and using that until the battery was depleted. Then the Fusion Energy goes to a hybrid gas electric mode. Overall, we were impressed with the drivability and heavenly whisper quiet electric only driving behavior. Priced at $42,685, it is a bit heavy on the wallet, however. Out back in the desert, we had a blast in the 2014 Toyota 4Runner. One of the last body-on-frame sport utility vehicles on the market today, the 4Runner offers traditional truck-like capability and ruggedness. Thus, we had to get it muddy like kids. The good part? It just loves it like a dog. In our back trail excursions, the 4Runner was unflappable, offering sure-footed and confident driving at all times. And most importantly, it feels solid as a rock out here, something that cannot be said for some competing crossovers. For these and many other test drivers, use log on to testdriven.tv or our YouTube channel. Now it's time for our money shot where we take our favorite photo from this week's news and we show it to you. The 2015 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat with its supercharged 6.2 liter Hemi engine, as we know, now belts out 707 horsepower. This makes it the quickest, fastest, and most powerful sedan in the world, says Dodge. We'll be seeing it at SEMA this week. Count on it. Well, that's it for Motoring Monday this week, but don't leave just yet. I have one more car to show you right after my final words here that's actually going to make it into the showroom very soon. But first, click on the link right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel there. We're going to keep you updated on all of our SEMA show news as well as our test drives and Motoring Monday episodes. You can also follow us on the Google, that Twitter, and the Facebook by simply searching Test Driven TV there or pressing the buttons on our website if you happen to be there. They're right there. Very easy to find. I'm Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Every year, Scion offers up the release series of various models, special editions that are limited in production. And this year, it's seeming we look forward to seeing the 2015 Scion TC Release Series 9.0. One of the wildest yet, Release 9.0 comes in a two-tone paint scheme of black and vibrant magma orange designed by Jeremy Lukowski of Cartel Customs. Scion will produce just 2,000 of the TC Release Series 9.0 with an aero kit designed by Cartel, a center exhaust, an orange start button with Cartel logo, and orange front seat belts. Orange stitching weaves its way through the steering wheel and seats while orange paint adds a show car look to the dashboard trims, door panels, and shifter surround. Also included are Cartel logo floor and cargo mats. Outside are special black alloy wheels, gloss black finish on the side mirrors, door handles, and emblems all around. A special release series badge adorns the mirror cover and a high profile rear spoiler finishes a presentation out back. The suspension gets TRD lowering springs, but these are special. Powder coated matching orange, they'll surely be something that owners will point out to their friends. And they'll be able to. After all, this show car actually goes on sale starting at $23,190 for the manual transmission model and just a bit more for the automatic. All very soon. If you want one, I suggest you get with your Scion dealer pretty quick because I think these ones are going to go pretty fast.